A decision support system simply refers to the use of any computer-based data delivery system that can help people make a better decision. We talked about two kinds of DSSs. The first one is a model-based decision support system. The second one is a case-based or a data-based decision support system. In this segment, I'm going to draw on some research that was done by Steve Hoke and David Shkari, uh, where they talked about these two different kinds of DSSs and actually compared the two. But before we go to the comparison, let's try and understand exactly what those DSSs do. Let's think first about a model-based decision support system. So if you think about the example we looked at before, uh, you're a loan officer, uh, somebody comes to you with a loan application, you now have to make a judgment about the credit worthiness of this given applicant. Let's imagine there are four criteria that you're going to use, four attributes. Uh, the debt ratio, uh, the cash flow, the revenue trend, and the location of this company. And what you might actually end up with is a model that looks like this, where the credit rating is some A plus B1 times the debt ratio plus B2 times the cash flow, uh, and so on. You could actually get estimates for A and B1 and B2 and B3 and B4 from a number of different sources. One. You could have a bunch of managers or experts who sit down together to come up with their expert judgments on what these A's and B's should look like. Alternately, you could keep track of previous applications where you had information on these attributes or the cues as we call them, monitor the success of these companies, and then use a regression kind of analysis to come up with the true values of A and B1 and B2 and B3 that best describe that success. Finally, you could simply bootstrap your own past judgments and use the bootstrap, the regression, to tell you what the A's and B's are going to be. So now if you had a, a computer system that used this equation, all it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to plug in the values of the four attributes and it would then give you as output the credit rating score and you can then make a decision based on that whether you would like to give it a loan uh, or not. So that's a simple model-based decision support system. Let's think about a case-based DSS. What happens in a case-based DSS is you get an application, you're going to ask the system to find a previous instance of an applicant that looked similar to this particular application. Here's what an interface for a case-based decision support system might look like. What you see on the top is a new applicant, let's say company XYZ, uh, that has a debt ratio of 2.7, cash flow of 1.8, uh, revenue trend of 14, and is located in the American uh, Midwest. Uh, and you need to make a judgment about what their credit rating is going to be. What you can ask the computer to do is to identify a number of past cases where you already now have information about their credit rating. What the computer is going to do is, is, is it going to follow a simple algorithm which is called the minimization of least squares or minimizing the Euclidean distance in the four-dimensional space between the new applicant and its existing database of cases. And it might pull out, for example, these three companies, uh, JROD, uh, Lansco, Lobson, and MSNZ. So four companies that it has pulled out that based on the criteria that the model uses are similar to the new applicant. You now have data on each of those four, and you also know what the credit rating is for those four because you've actually had an experience dealing with those four companies. What you could do next is to say, well, gee, do I think that XYZ is most like one of these four? See what happened to those, and then make a judgment about what you think is going to happen to this one. The psychological process that we follow to make these kinds of judgments is called anchoring and adjustment. The DSS gives you a pass case to anchor on. So let's say you decided that XYZ is most similar to MSNZ. So MSNZ had a score of 45. You're going to anchor on the 45, and you're going to make adjustments. You're going to say, well, yeah, they had 45, but they were in the East Coast. This is a Midwestern company. How does that change your prediction of the score? So that's a DSS-based system. Now, in a series of experiments, uh, Hoke and Shkadi actually compared these two different kinds of systems. They had managers come in and make judgments. Uh, managers were either given a case-based decision support system or a model-based system, or in some cases, both. 
And here's what they found. They found that when environments are stable, nothing major is happening in terms of changes, uh, no new products being launched, no income shocks, nothing dramatic is happening. The model-based decision support systems actually outperform the case-based decision support systems. In other words, managers that use the model-based systems end up making more accurate judgments or predictions than managers that use the case-based systems. Turns out though, when the environment is noisy, when in fact there is, let's say, a recession or, or a new product has been launched or some new regulation where now the old model might not be true anymore, the case-based system actually is a little bit better than the model-based system. But interestingly, no matter what the environment is, having both outperforms having just one of them. And that's an interesting key lesson to take away from their research.